What's going on YouTube? We're back again. But before we get started, I'm gonna drop my graphic on y'all real quick. First things first, I need to define what I mean when I'm saying offend. So like when I'm asking you, when I'm posing the question, um, why do you get offended? I have to define exactly what I mean by getting offended. The de I looked up the definition. The definition is pretty much if you cause someone to feel upset, resentful, or annoyed. Pretty much anytime someone gets you, <laughs> anytime it pissed off or any anything, anything, anytime somebody affects you negatively, pretty much is what it sounds like what being offended means. I always thought it was more towards like, say if I affiliate with a certain group, or something, or, or like, you know, my race, or um, a certain type of view, or whatever, and then you offend that, and then I take offense based on that, or something like that. But So that's kind of more what I'm talking about. So what I'm referring to is, if somebody, if you get a feel offended when somebody insults your, your race, your gender, like somebody being sexist, um, or your ideology, like religion, your spiritual views, or your political views. So I pose the question, why do you get offended? Maybe you don't get offended, right? But a lot of people do. What is it that's getting you offended? Like to me, if somebody says something, it's telling me more about that person, right? I don't feel any type of way. So if they're saying, here's, here's some examples. <laughs> or let's just say somebody was like, you rice and bean loving, sasong eating, Honda Civic driving, Bitch, <laughs> cause I do like rice and beans and salsa on there, so he might he might got me on that one. That's a light example, right? I probably I don't know. Most people probably laugh. I would laugh. I think that's fine. But anyway, the point is like just some racist, stereotypical shit that somebody says. Like to me, that says more about them. Let's give a different example. Let's say somebody's like, like you're a woman and you can't cook. I don't know, something like that. To me, that's gonna say more about them. That has nothing to do with me. Why do I, why am I going to get offended by that? To me, I'm looking at, I'm seeing, I'm looking at ignorance in the face right now, right? Literally, like, that came out of your mouth, bro. Like, to me, that's how I see it. I'm not going to be like, <gasps> <gasps> women can do way more. So, you know what I mean? Like, come on, like, why, like, obviously, this guy's just a fucking idiot. So you don't have to you don't have to give you don't have to give that any energy, right? You just see that for what it is. You see just an idiot, <laughs> and he was raised probably some that type of way. Whatever. That like that's not, that has nothing to do with you. That's his own baggage, his own thing. So why why waste the energy of getting upset by that? It has nothing to do with you. So let's move on to I don't know. Give me some, shit. Give me some examples like you guys can. Speak to, speak to me right now. Or you say something like real racist to a black person, like, is, is that an EBT card? Some <laughs> shit, like, I don't know. I'm just throwing shit out right now. You know what I mean? You're like, no, motherfucker, it's my credit card. Um, but anyway, instead of like getting mad, like, you're like, really? I don't know. Maybe that, that's not a good one. Or let's say, like, somebody insults you for being Republican or being Democrat or whatever. Um, and they just say like you're an idiot or for thinking he's having these views or whatever. Like to me, it tells me that you just, you don't have the decency of conversation. You don't have the tact to, you know, have a, a, a good conversation or an intelligent conversation and really discuss views. If that's what we're doing. You have to, you have to make it go that way. Probably because say the conversation boiled to a point where he can't have his views challenged Therefore, he reacts that way. So he comes up with just saying some bullshit. But if you see it from the stem, you, I mean, you see it, like you see the root cause of why someone's acting that way, then you're, more, you're less likely to be affected by it. Like, it's not going to bother you. You see exactly what he's doing, you, see, you understand it, whatever, just brush it off. It doesn't have to affect your day, it doesn't have to mess with you. That's just him and his, his own thing again. I keep saying him. It could be anybody. Girls. Y'all, y'all crazy too. Did you see where the point I'm getting at? What are you wasting your energy for with being offended? Getting upset because somebody else is, somebody else doesn't know how to act right. Or they have these bigotry 
bigotrated. What the? F <laughs> or these have these racist views and they have hate in their heart and they're projecting that on onto you. And for you to match their hate with your anger, that's just gonna pull you down. It's pretty much a stupid down to their level. Not quite the same because you didn't start it, I get, I get it, but there's just no need. Like you're not, you're not, you're just gonna argue with that guy for what? You're not taking a stance on what? You know what I mean? There's nothing's really gonna get done there. This guy's not gonna just have some epiphany because you, 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 you either punch, you punch that dude in the mouth real quick or you said something that like made sense or the guy had a revelation right there on the spot. No, this, this guy, it's gonna take a little bit for this. For somebody who, who is that racist or, or that sexist or whatever it is, it, he, he ain't gonna fix him right there. And that's not your duty to fix him. What you need to do is worry about you and not match that. And don't even worry about that. Like, let him think that, let, let her think that, let them, that's their shit. Don't worry about it. Pretty much what I'm trying to say is, there's no need to really get offended by things like that. Remember the context in which I'm saying it at the beginning. Um, it's more so when someone's insulting or whatever, when you feel like you're belonging to some group or something like that, and you're, or in your views or something like that, and the way people go about expressing that to you, and then you take offense to it, man, come on, you don't gotta worry about that. And some people do have right things. Sometimes you'll take offended, you'll take offense because you're not open to hearing it. Like, I'm not ready for my views to be challenged, and you feel some type of way when they are, and maybe you don't have all the information, and you now feel stupid, and in that state, you resolve to like anger or something like that. But you, if you see what you're doing, you, you know what I mean. You can change that and be more receptive. Because we're, at the end of the day, if you, if that's the, if that's how you end up feeling over that, uh, over a situation like that, then either educate yourself more on the subject, or listen to that, to their argument, and look into it, and see it for yourself with open eyes. Maybe you can learn from something. Not everybody knows everything, but you can learn from a dumb person, <laughs> for a largely dumb person. There's little, there's little things that people can teach you along the way that are, if you're just open and with open mind, you can pick up little messages, even if they even don't even know what message you're sending out. But there's, there's something to be gathered. Um, but you can see that in yourself and then better yourself that way so you'll be more or less likely to be offended if that's the case. But either way, just don't worry about it. Don't let people get under your skin understand the source, understand why people do what they do, and then you're also less likely to take it to heart. But thank you, thank you for stopping by, watching my video. I have more videos, I'm gonna keep posting videos. Um, I'm sorry I'm not on like a, a set time, pretty much. I'm trying to line up interviews with different people for different subjects, just to talk to my conversations. Um, try and get those going. I have content that I wanna show, I'm probably gonna get into some conspiracy videos pretty soon. I'm probably gonna get into some videos on like some current events with political things and the way this, this, I'll get into it later. <laughs> anyway, um, but hit subscribe. I'm gonna put two buttons on these bad boys because I can annotate like a month. Hit subscribe here, or if you weren't ready just yet, hit subscribe here. Oh shit, this one was out of the camera. I can see it now, boy. All right, let's do it again. No, 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 right there. I like that spot. Hey, I like this spot too. Hit subscribe, I'll see ya.